Hello and welcome friends of our homestead. In our this week's video we we'll like to show you what we install here. What we make out of this 5 gallon bucket. And why we have our tomato plants in these pop bottles. Where we live it's hard to find a signal for our cell phone. So we decide to install a cell phone booster at our house to make sure we can get calls and we can do telephone calls around the clock. So we always had to go up to the road that's 100 meters far from the house to make any calls or to receive any calls but hopefully that have an end right now. After I install the wire at the outside, I have to drill the hole to bring the wire into the house. So I drilled the hole from the inside to the outside. I pre-drilled the hole with a small drill bit. And I use a bigger one, just a little bit bigger than the connectors. We bought that Hyboost 4K Smart Link cell phone booster at Amazon. If you're interested in it, I put the link for you in the description down below. It's a kit, so the cell phone booster comes with everything you need except of the antenna holder.
Most of the time I had only one bar at my cell phone, so after I installed that cell phone booster I had at least four bars at my cell phone, so that little electronic box works absolute great. But now it's time to build something. stainless steel bolts and nuts because of their food grade. I pre-drilled holes in the bottom of the 5 gallon bucket. I don't know how many, maybe 100, but it feels like a thousand. Then I drilled the holes bigger until the drill gets hot.
looks good. Hopefully it works good. It's a strainer for our homemade vinegar. If you like to see the full video how to make homemade vinegar, I put the link for you in the description down below. I use the cheesecloth as the filter and it works great. That's our homemade red wine vinegar with some different fruits in it. And now let me explain you why we have our tomato plants in pop bottles. After the season last year, I saved some tomato plants from our big greenhouse and put them in the house into the aquaponic system. So they survived the winter and they grow so nice in the spring time that I think I maybe try to replant them into the big greenhouse. So I cut the new plant shots off and put it in pet bottles with water and after a week they had roots that big. Incredible. One more week and we move them from the house into the greenhouse. We'll see maybe they get the same nice tomatoes like last year. Another thing we tried this week was we like to make homemade cheese. What came out that can you see here on that pictures. So we tried four different kinds, one with herbs de Provence, one with chives, one with uh, cranberries and one with coconut pineapple. And they were incredible good. Another little project this week was to finish that outside quail cages. After I finished the roof, we made the cages ready for the birds.
sometimes it needs a little fine adjustment. And we move the birds in. That's our brand new soil sifter. I used that for the first time and I'm very impressed about that machine. It works absolute great. I mean quiet is different, it's a little loud, but it does the job perfect. It's great for soil and for compost. We reached mostly the end of this video. If you like to know what we use that machine for and what we built here, and how that makes our life easier, and what's up in the garden, you have to wait for the video of next week. So thanks guys for watching this video, hopefully we see us next week, don't forget to subscribe for our channel and see you soon and stay safe.